So this is um, part two of the gardening video, just to tell you what's been going on and kind of a before and after. We were talking about corn and planting the corn in part one and just other parts of my garden and the, and the square foot part of my garden. And here by the chicken garden, I have tomatoes planted and I put some wildflowers and sunflowers in there, green pepper, and some basil. So this is the before picture. We're in early June and I'll do something maybe in August or July to see how things are going then. I've got that funny seagull whirly gig in the tin foil, and that's to kind of keep the deer away. This is a shorter fence and we do get a lot of deer. So I understand that maybe the shiny things and sounds that whirly gig makes might keep them away. We'll see. Time will tell. So I've let the chickens out for a little bit today. Um, I, I kind of keep them close at hand uh, during April, May, and early June because it's time when the foxes are feeding their babies. So we've seen some foxes here and I like to be pretty careful. I'm also socializing the baby chicks, see how big they're getting? And the door is open, they can come and go. I have a bigger uh, cage inside, but this is what I keep them in right now outside so they feel a little, they have a safe place to go. And also the older chickens are getting used to them. Now this one's kind of decided to go out for a little bit. Aren't they sweet and they're getting so big? So getting back to the Square Foot Gardening book by Mel Bartholomew, it's a great way to get started with gardening with children or just if you have a small space. A, a four by four garden can fit quite a lot of things in it. You know, you can 16 carrots and, you know, four ears of corn. And you, you, he tells you exactly what can go in a square foot. They're low maintenance. Um, if you use his original mix that you can mix up yourself, uh, it's a combination of five different kinds of compost, vermiculite, and peat, I believe, is the other. And it makes a wonderful um, mix, light and airy, so the roots can really get through your plants. It tells you how to plant it, how to build one, how to mix the, the soil how to build a frame to support your plants that climb, materials to use. But the, my favorite part is in the back where you can just look up any, most any plant or vegetable and it tells you exactly what to do, how many to put per square feet. I'm sorry, the wind is blowing the pages a little bit. It's a wonderful book. It's a great thing to do with kids. You don't need a lot of space. Uh, it's just really easy. And I highly recommend this book. So, and I have used it uh, for presents as well. You know, I've, I've bought some, makes lovely presents. And another thing that makes a nice present is when you have to send a thank you note or something to somebody, or let's say you're a presenter in a, at a conference seed packets make nice little gifts and they're not very expensive and it's just an, a reminder of of you know sometimes i'll do forget-me-nots or whatever seed packets or sunflowers are fun and speaking of sunflowers they are so easy to grow and kids really get a kick out of growing a tall sunflower also i've done tomatoes with the grandchildren the Sweet 100s is a wonderful plant, um, yielding lots of cherry tomatoes, and the grandkids are so proud to have their own tomato plant. So um, we did that this year. I've done it in the past. So anyway, I just thought I would give you a little update on square foot gardening and a before of Grandma's garden, and we'll see how it looks maybe in a month or two, and what kind of vegetables made it, which ones didn't make it, that happens.
but you know we just keep trying right and learning always learning can learn from our mistakes and we can learn from our our um, what do you, what's you know when we have things that work out well we can reflect on that um, everything can be a lesson that's for sure so there's the baby chicks they're almost ready to go into the coop they're almost fully feathered out look at them they are I would say four or five times their size when we first got them looking forward to when you guys can come meet the baby chicks in person my grandchildren love you all very much happy gardening <laughs>